fast, powerful, relentless. SpaceX just pulled off one of its greatest triumphs with Starship Flight 10, a mission that proved the rocket is no longer a dream, but a reality taking shape before our eyes. Yet as the dust settles from that historic flight, the question echoing across the space community is simple. When is Flight 11? And more importantly, what daring new challenges will SpaceX take on this time? Welcome back to SpaceX Saga, the channel where we track every milestone, every breakthrough, and every setback in humanity's journey to the stars. If you love following Elon Musk's mission to Mars and beyond, make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share your predictions in the comments, because one of them just might get pinned. Flight 10, a new era of Starship. Let's start with where we left off. Flight 10 was nothing short of breathtaking. From liftoff to splashdown, nearly everything went right, marking a massive leap forward for Starship. The booster's flip maneuver worked. The two-engine landing burn worked. Starship itself ascended smoothly into space and returned to Earth with valuable test data. Yes, there were minor issues, like one engine failing early and the violent booster splashdown, but compared to the chaos of earlier test flights, Flight 10 felt like SpaceX had turned a corner. It was not just a test anymore. It was a statement. Flight 11. The countdown begins now. The eyes of the world shift to Flight 11, the final mission of the V-2 Starship series. Elon Musk himself has hinted that the cadence will soon be one launch every two months. If that holds, Flight 11 could launch in October. But here's the twist. Judging by the speed of preparations, the mission could actually lift off earlier than expected, maybe even late September. Booster B-17 and Ship S-38 have already cleared cryogenic testing. Engines are being prepped at Mega Bay 2. S-38 has received its second aft flap, a sign it's almost flight ready. The launch pad is undergoing refurbishment after Flight 10's intense stress test. If the pace continues, we're looking at a timeline of about one month until launch readiness. That means a September surprise is on the table. So what do you think? Late September or early October? Drop your predictions in the comments below and let's see who gets it right. What Flight 11 will test. SpaceX doesn't fly just to fly. Each mission pushes the limits and Flight 11's objectives are bolder than ever. One. Super heavy booster tests. Engineers will adjust the angle of attack to improve fuel efficiency and study aerodynamics. The engine reliability issue must be solved after one failed on Flight 10. The active flip and two engine landing burn will be repeated. Most importantly, SpaceX wants to perfect the controlled splashdown. Flight 10's impact was too hard. Flight 11 aims for a softer landing that preserves the booster longer for data collection. Two, Starship's orbital goals flight. Eleven is expected to carry more payloads, possibly deploying them from a true orbital position for the first time. Starship will attempt a longer in-orbit relight of its engines, critical for Moon and Mars missions. The heat shield will be under the microscope again. Flight 10 revealed orange oxidation and stressed flaps. Flight 11 must prove improvements. Finally, the ocean landing. While Elon says real landings won't happen until Flight 13, every splashdown is practice for the ultimate prize, catching Starship with the Mechazilla Tower. Falcon 9, quietly making history. While Starship grabs headlines, let's not forget the workhorse of SpaceX, Falcon 9. On August 27, a Falcon 9 launched more Starlink satellites, and Booster B-1095 landed flawlessly on the drone ship, just read the instructions. But here's why that mission matters. It marks SpaceX's 400th successful drone ship landing. Think about that. 400 landings on moving ocean platforms since the first one back in 2016. What was once considered impossible is now routine. No competitor is even close. Blue Origin hasn't done it. Chinese startups are still experimenting. SpaceX turned it into a weekly event. And the numbers. As of late August, SpaceX has launched 108 rockets in 2025 alone. At this pace, they're on track to hit 170 launches by year's end. That's not just impressive, it's rewriting the history of spaceflight. Blue Origin struggling to keep up. But while SpaceX races forward, Blue Origin continues to stumble. 
The new Shepard NS-35 mission was delayed twice in August due to avionics issues. No new date is confirmed. Every delay chips away at the system's credibility. Meanwhile, New Glenn, Jeff Bezos's supposed competitor to Falcon 9 and Starship, is still stuck in slow motion. With over eight months since its debut and minimal progress, even the September 29th target looks shaky. As SpaceX gears up for 170 launches a year, Blue Origin is still fighting to get one suborbital rocket off the pad. The gap is widening. Fast. Why this matters. Every successful Starship flight brings us closer to colonizing Mars, building lunar bases, and making humanity multiplanetary. Flight 10 proves SpaceX can reach space and return with meaningful data. Flight 11 will test Starship's ability to operate in orbit, deploy payloads, and survive re-entry. Falcon 9 keeps proving reusability at scale with 400 landings. Meanwhile, competitors like Blue Origin are struggling to even launch. This is why people say, we're not just watching rockets, we're watching the future unfold. Final thoughts and call to action. So SpaceX fans, here's the big question. Will Flight 11 surprise us in late September? Or will Musk stick to the October schedule for reliability's sake? Drop your guesses in the comments and I'll pin the most interesting prediction. If you enjoy this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe to SpaceX Saga, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single update on Starship, Falcon 9, and beyond. Because here on SpaceX Saga, we're not just reporting news, we're chronicling the saga of humanity's greatest adventure. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep looking up. The stars are closer than you think. Now let's zoom out for a moment. Flight 11 isn't happening in isolation. It's part of a much bigger picture. SpaceX isn't just building Starship for fun. This vehicle is at the core of NASA's Artemis program. The United States plan to return humans to the moon for the first time since Apollo. NASA has already selected a version of Starship called the Human Landing System to carry astronauts down to the lunar surface. That means every test flight, every improvement, and every successful landing attempt is directly connected to America's next great leap in space exploration. When Flight 11 takes off, it won't just be a milestone for SpaceX, it will be a critical step toward putting NASA astronauts back on the moon. And of course, behind all this is Elon Musk's even bolder vision, turning humanity into a multiplanetary species. Musk has said time and again that life can't just remain confined to Earth. Whether it's a natural disaster, an asteroid strike, or simply the limits of our planet's resources, humanity's long-term survival depends on building cities on other worlds. That's why Starship exists. Think about it. Flight 11 might just last a few hours.